Hello, it's Ruth Gowdy, the flower writer, and I'm here with the Budlia bush, this massive bush that's smothered in butterflies. And it has a lovely meaning in my life, and I think lots of people, it brings us joy to see all this beautiful wildlife smothering it. It was a bush that actually came over from China in the 1890s and it naturalised here. But it became known as the bonsai plant after World War II because you would often find it establishing itself on wasteland and on those bomb sites where everything had been flattened and the budley bush grew at, on those spaces. So it has a kind of sense of regeneration about it, of meaning regeneration and some kind of beauty out of something that's really sad. So an opportunity to transform. But of course, the butterfly bush is the more common name that we know it by. And what better plant to represent transformation? And what a beautiful flower it has, these long spires with densely clustered flowers and they have a honey fragrance. That's obviously what attracts all the insect life to them. And for me, and I believe many people, a butterfly has real spiritual significance in the sense of it started out life as a caterpillar and who would have thought that that caterpillar that crawled along and nibbled on the leaves would transform into this beautiful creature that could fly and soar in the air. So again, the Budlia represents that sense of leaving the past behind and rebuilding something and letting go of what's gone and what a beautiful place that we find ourselves in when we dare to do that. In China, the Budlia is used and recognised for meditation and how lovely that we can take time to enjoy this plant and enjoy this wildlife and all it represents. As Anne Bronte once wrote, to regret the exchange of earthly pleasures for the joys of heaven is as if the grovelling caterpillar should lament that it must one day quit the nibbled leaf to soar aloft and flutter through the air, roving at will from flower to flower, sipping sweet honey from their cups or basking in their sunny petals.